We have a chance to sit down with one of the best offensive tackles in the country today. Four-star Jordan Seaton of IMG Academy is joining the show. Seaton is the number two ranked offensive tackle in the country and the 41st best player overall, according to the On3 industry rankings. So let's bring on my guy, Jordan Seaton from IMG Academy. Jordan, with so many recruits coming off the board during the summer, did you think about committing and why are you taking your recruitment the distance? I just want to say thank you for having me. And um, yeah, to your question, um, the reason I want to uh, just wait out on my process is some guys, some recruits, you know, some guys, people uh, rush things. And I like to see the big picture of everything, you know, know the little things, know the in and outs. And just being able to have the opportunity to wait this long, I'm blessed. And definitely, definitely uh, just being more patient in my recruitment. All right. So you set six official visits. You took one during the summer, and that was to Alabama, the only trip, the only official visit that you took. Then you set your fall tour. Now, flashing a graphic yes. up here on the screen that shows you have LSU on the 9th, Florida on the 16th, Oklahoma on the 30th, Ohio State on October 6th, Oregon on November 10th, and then South Carolina on November 18th. But Jordan... You sent me a text last night saying all these visits have essentially been changed. So let's yes. go through this and talk talk about it. So this weekend, are you going to be at the LSU game this weekend? I will not be at the LSU game. Right. Uh, my mind's pretty much on Ben Davis the high school team we play. Okay, so that one for now is is postponed slash canceled, right? Postponed LSU. slash canceled. Yes, all right, sir. let's go to the next visit on this list. 9-16, next weekend, you were set to go to Florida. Or is that visit yes. still happening? That visit will still happen, just be postponed to a later date in the season. Uh, okay, so we're postponing the Florida one till later in the year. Got it. Now, yes. uh, September 30th, Oklahoma, is that one set? That one is set. I'll be down there in a uh, Sooner Nation. All right, we can lock that one in. Okay, Yes. Sir. October 6th, Ohio State. Is that going to take place on October 6th? That will take place, but not on October 6th. We're moving it probably to a date, uh, I want to say sometime in November. We're working on the dates now. Me and Coach okay. Star. Oregon, next up, is November 10th. Oregon, is that one set? Oregon is not set right now. Oregon, uh, the date is still to be determined, but I definitely want to get down to uh, Eugene. Okay, cool. Now, the last one that you had on your schedule was November 18 to South Carolina. Does South Carolina still get a visit? South Carolina would definitely still get a visit. It won't be on the November date, but they'll definitely have a chance to get a loop and get a shot. Okay. Now, you told me that you're definitely going to add one official visit, and that will be to? Uh, the, one, the one school that I'll be adding is, I want to say Florida State. Okay. Now we'll get ba we'll get back to Florida State in a minute here. Uh, you're also you told me you're going to take one big unofficial visit. Yes. And you're uh, going to check out who? Colorado. <laughs> Coach Prime. Do you know when that will be? Do you want to try to make it for a game? Uh, yes, it'll definitely be a game day visit. Um, I want to say sooner than later. If I had to put it, if I had to put my finger on it, it'll definitely be sooner than later. So I like what they've been going doing down there. Oh man. <laughs> Ring zone. Uh, All right. I definitely like it. Yeah, we're gonna double back on Colorado. I wanna talk talk yeah. firstly about some of these teams. Uh let's start with your what was gonna be your first official visit. That was LSU, but oh, that one is postponed for now. So let's start with Florida. What about the Florida Gators that has your interest? Uh Coach Rob Sell. So, uh he, he, he calls the plays. He's an online coach. He knows it in and out. He got help from Coach Stapleton, um, Coach Billy Napier. Um, he's a hands-on guy. I love his energy. I love his passion. And I love that they, they don't really try to recruit. They try to make it uh, as family-oriented as possible. Um, their background, they're coming from Louisiana, so they do know how to develop guys. So getting a guy with my caliber at a school like that, um, it could be very scary. <laughs> Has location helped the fact that you're at IMG Academy? You've been able to make it to Gainesville a couple times? Yes, location uh, from IMG Academy to Florida has been an easy trip. Um, I want to say it's about maybe two hours, three hours, none, none too uh, 
nothing too far that you can't make. So the locations definitely help with the crew recruiting process for the Florida Gators. All right. I want to talk to you about Ohio State. How did they get involved in your recruitment and where, you know, where do the Buckeyes stand with you? Um, Ohio State's kind of always been in my recruitment process. Um, me and Coach Fry, we've been on since, I want to say, my sophomore year. Um, he's been coming around. Uh, recently, I was at St. John's in D.C. Him, uh, D-line coach, and uh, the head coach, they've all came to my school multiple times. And just them showing the consistency and the passion that they have, and they know how I can be at a school like that, that definitely help them right now. Okay. Now, we're pushing Oregon back to a TBD. We don't know the exact date there. Yeah, um, but you said you definitely want to get out to Eugene. What intrigues you about the Ducks? Um, Eugene's been my dream school since I, I can remember. Always watching D'Anthony Thomas. You know, they always had the flashy jerseys, the nice facility, mm -hmm. all that. And I definitely want to I definitely want to see how everything fits with them. Um, Coach Alik Terry, he came to my school. He came to my school, uh, Saint, uh, not St. John's, IMG right now. Um, he'd been at my school a couple times and him showing him showing the um the passion that he has for the game, the love that he has for the game. Being a younger coach, he still has that young juice energy, you know? Mm -hmm. And some sometimes we can relate because the age gap is not as different as uh, you know, somebody else. All right. So now South Carolina, it sounds like they might get a visit, but you also said that you might fill that void with Florida State. So originally, Florida State wasn't part of your fall tour. Why now Florida State? Um, Coach Atkins, uh, we actually talked last night. Um, he's a uh, good, uh, he's a, he's a he's a heck of a uh, teacher. Um, when I when I did my visit, he uh, he kind of instead of like um recruiting wise he kind of like sat back and taught me like what how do i learn like how do i learn plays how do i how do i adapt to learning new things and just knowing that he's able to teach uh teach you in all different types of ways is definitely a great thing and um florida state on my first visit down there i loved it i mm -hmm. love florida state so the knolls are definitely in a good spot right now but why did they not make your initial cut for an official visit um, at first, I was really kind of skeptical to see what they're going to do with the season, and just um, just seeing what they produced and what they everybody seen it live. Uh, that they're showing that the ACC, ACC is definitely a good spot to be in, and the SEC doesn't really matter that much now. You can play anywhere. All right, let's talk about Coach Prime and everything that he's got going right now in Boulder. Did you have a chance to watch the Buffaloes win over TCU? Yes, I definitely got a chance to watch that one. I what was your impressions world. of the win? Uh, my impression was they can play ball and not, not to everybody just to brag or not, but, uh, that boy, Travis Hunter is the real deal. And hopefully, uh, I can block for Shadir Sanders one day. Maybe it might not be now, but it could be in the league also, but he's going to go also. All right. Um, uh, have you talked to coach prime yet? Have you had a chance to actually talk one-on-one -on -one with him? Uh, we haven't spoken yet. Um, my contact has mostly been Tim Brewster, Coach O'Boyle, um, the whole recruiting specialist. They all just made a point to me that if you're serious about us, we're serious about you. So um, they reached out again. They kind of came a little bit later in my recruitment, pro recruitment process, but uh, they, they got a shot. They always have a shot. It's prime. You can't say no. <laughs> that's right all right how much does nil factor into your recruitment i talk with this about everybody that comes on the show and you know the answers vary but for you how much does it matter when you're talking with these college teams um nil with the world that we live in today nil definitely plays a role in everybody's recruitment now um i want to say with me i'm more focused on the development piece of everything um I, I definitely I definitely want to reap the benefits that come with the new system that the college football has came to and everything like that. But it doesn't play that much of a role for me, but I definitely would like to reap the benefits that come with everything. All right. Now, do you watch college football on Saturdays? Yes. I try to get as much as I can when we play on Friday nights. Yeah. And what do you specifically watch for when you sit down on a Saturday morning and turn on college football? Um. All right, we can talk about this. I like this. Uh, 
Inside Scoop fans, how did week one go for you guys? Some of you are just now coming out of your weekend hangover just to realize that there's another weekend full of big games right around the corner, but you don't have your tickets yet. That sounds like a nightmare, but don't let this be the way that your season goes. That's why I'm here to tell you about Game Time. It is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the big time matchups. Game Time will get you to this year's biggest college football games with elite deals on last minute tickets and the best price guarantee. Don't stress over getting into your favorite team's season opener or the biggest rivalry game of the year. There's only so many big games you can go to and you need to get these tickets at the best prices. Game Time is the place for last minute ticket deals Forget planning months in advance. We already did. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. That's why I love them. Get exclusive flash deals on tickets on all the sports and entertainment events. You can even use Game Time for concerts. Game Time is the place for last minute ticket deals. So here's what we're going to do snag the tickets without stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Inside Scoop for $20 off your purchase. Create an account with the GameTime app and use promo code INSIDESCOOP for $20 off GameTime tickets today. Terms apply, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. So I recently watched the Tennessee game. So uh, I was watching the left tackle 74 and when I watch the game, I kind of, you know, some people just look for the oohs and alls, but I'm a lineman at heart. So I'm gonna watch what the O-line's doing. And what 74 did uh, from Tennessee, he kind of showed out, he balled out. And I guess everybody's seen that clip of him pushing guys sort of uh, off the field, like uh, the blind side. And <laughs> I like to model my game after after guys like that with integrity like that, and also uh, just keep getting better. But I look for the little things, like what they do on outside zone, what they what the pre snap calls are, you know, I'm a I'm I'm, I'm detailed as they come in uh, online and understanding the game. So, yeah, I'm really sure as a recruit, as a prospect that's being recruited by some of these teams, you definitely probably have a different perspective on a Saturday than say I do. Uh, you you yes, are sir. in Florida now. You're in Florida now, but you didn't grow up in Florida. So who no, were sir. you a fan of as a kid when watching college football? College football. Um, my, my dream school's been Oregon for forever. I don't know how. I just watched the Anthony Thomas on YouTube one day, and I'm like, geez, I want to go there. I want to do that. Back then, I wanted to be a skilled guy, but hey, man, I'm a big boy now. So Yeah, it didn't, it didn't <laughs> work out that way. Um, it it's okay. Work. It's okay, though, you know? Hey, it's okay. You got you to gotta just work with I what you got. <laughs> yeah, you almost got me. Um, all right, so... You have all these teams. Um, it's very early. You haven't taken your visits yet. But do you have a leader right now? Um, if I had to pick a leader, I definitely want to say uh, Bama might be the team to beat. Um, they were my only official visit this year. Only took one in the summer. And they kind of set the standard for every everybody else. So mm -hmm. um, if I had to pick a leader right now, it would definitely be Bama. Do you plan on getting back to Alabama this fall or at least before you make a decision? I would definitely like to get on another unofficial there. Um, see, see a game day environment, see what it's like. I spent a lot of time with Coach Eric Wolford and his staff already and just talking with Saban a lot of times. Uh, it just kind of opened my eyes and just let me realize what's real and what's not real. All right. You got a decision date? Uh. I want to say if I had to decide a uh, signing day, but I would like to choose before yeah. if, if I feel at home somewhere. Okay. And these visits will kind of take you through that. Do you have a plan to like narrow your list down? Like what's it going to be when you sit down? Do you imagine like you're going to have three hats on the table, five, 10, like what's it going to look like? Uh, after, after I take these OVs, these OVs will kind of just narrow it down for me. Like these OVs are kind of um, just testing, like not testing the waters, but seeing what it would be like to be at each and one of these schools, be a, be a Roll Tide, be a Alabama, uh, be Ohio State, be at Florida, just see what it's like to be in uh, what a game day will actually look like. So these, these next couple months are kind of my narrowing down process. And like you said, to the game day hats, um, it could be one, two, three, four, or maybe eight hats on there. I don't know what it's going to be. But when I get there, I hope to have a little bit of hats and a lot of great schools on there. 
All right, Jordan Seaton, it's been a blast. Thank you for taking your time. I know it's a busy schedule there at IMG Academy, so I really appreciate you taking a little bit out of time to sit down yes, and talk on the inside scoop. Thank you for having me on three. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.